Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. We are going to do a replay commentary for Medieval 2 Total War. This will be a free-for-all between four players. Now remember, with Medieval 2, um, you can only really have a true four-player free-for-all. If you go over with eight players, then it's going to be four teams with two players each. So that's why I always do four-player free-for-alls in Medieval 2. But that seems to be the max amount of uh, different factions you can get in a... Medieval 2 free for all. Anyways, this is a 15,000 uh, florin battle. Rules were maximum 8 cav, no artillery, no elephants. And as I said, it's early period. And what else? Oh, yeah, it's scored resolution. So, this is not about the last person standing. That person does not win automatically. It's all about the person who gets the most, uh, you know, points. And, you know, they tally up the points by the type of units you kill. Um, how many troops you have remaining, and then there's some really odd specifics about the rules, which kind of throws me off sometimes. Um, but that's that's the general gist of scored resolution, so I don't need to be the last person standing. Neither does anybody else, they just need the most uh, meaningful kills, we'll call it that. Most quality kills. So I went with France. So here's my army, I went with, I believe, eight or, s eight or so dismounted fetal knights. And I know there is a cap of, what, four? Of you know four per unit before it, it starts to get more expensive to buy it, at least for the feudal knights, for the general's bodyguard you can only buy one before the ma the price gets outrageous. And I also have some peasant archers, I believe four. I got some feudal knights and I got some mailed knights, and then I do have a general's bodyguard somewhere in the mix. I think he's towards the front. Here he is. Here's my general, the French generalissimo. There he is. And I'm right next to the Turks. Now, this guy took about seven minutes in the uh, the unit purchase screen, so I was kind of annoyed by him already. But he has hidden most of his troops in the forest. Um, you can see some Sapahis. Uh, these are uh, skirmisher, skirmishing calves, but that's hot chicken soup. That's his Turkish army. Next to us, we have uh, Army of Venice of King Peter 57. Um, he gets peasant archers, dismounted feudal knights, dismounted feudal knights, feudal knights. Caraccio. Uh, he did bring artillery, and that was against some rules, but you know what? I don't give a crap. The only reason why I put rules is so that people don't leave the game. Because in Medieval 2, sometimes Rome 1, people will leave the game if you don't have any rules. So that's why I put rules. I really don't give a crap what my opponents bring. And over here, way over here, we have the Russian army of Window 11. He's got a bunch of uh, dismounted Boyer Sons. He's got some Druzina Boyer Sons on horseback. Spearman, Spearman, here's his general's bodyguard over here, here's his general, some peasants. So let's go back to my side of the field, let's skip over there. I'm trying to blitz uh, the Turks under uh, hot chicken soup. So I'm chasing this cab unit right here of Sapahis. Got my guys going to the forest. And don't worry, um, this whole battle won't take place in the forest like my... Like my previous uh, Mexican Mayan outing. I forgot which map it was, but that was ridiculous. So I'm trying to chase this unit right here. And there's another unit I'm trying to chase over on this side. There's two uh, There's two of them, I believe. Yeah, here they are. Two units of Sapahis are just trying to run away, pepper my guys. They could run into the forest. Uh, the rest of my, my opponent's uh, Turkish troops are over here. Well, here's a bodyguard unit. He's got a lot of weird troops. He's got Spear Militia, which is... I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'm reading Cav, but he has a bunch of uh, Afghan Jav infantry, which was kind of odd. This guy is basically a troll. Like, sure, you know, whatever. It, took, it took, took him seven minutes to buy his troops, but the way he plays in this game is very trollish. You'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. So anyways, I'm trying to chase these Sapahis. And he's just gonna run away, which is fine, because that's what they do. They are skirmish cats. But I'll tell you what I'm talking about later on, <laughs> when he just trolls the F out of me. So, I'm still trying to chase this unit over here. I got him to the border. And this can be pretty, uh, pretty devastating charge I get on this guy. So here I am, coming right at this guy. With my, uh, mailed knights. I was going to send my, my female knights, but I can only get my mailed ones over there. So here we are, we are delivering the mail. 
Now these Apostles are dropping hardcore now. See that? Down to 44. They're actually pretty strong. Even though they are skirmish tab, they're actually pretty strong. Look at all the armor they're wearing. So yeah, they're, they're pretty tough in a, in a stand-up fight. I mean, they're not the greatest, because you, you saw what my Meld Knights did to them. So while this is going on, you know, I'm still going to chase this a little bit. I'm going to stop chasing it in a second. Totally not worth chasing those units. So what I'm trying to do with the, with the rest of my infantry, I'm pushing into the forest here. Because I want to catch his, uh, his main army, which is right here. He has um, Afghan Javelin Men, which is so weird. I remember, I was right next to the Turks. Because later on, this guy's gonna say, I can't believe you were so transfixed on chasing me. I mean, you're right next to me, dude. <laughs> you're my opponent, so I was gonna chase you. I figured uh, Russia and Venice would fight, but unfortunately, uh, these guys are just gonna sit here for the longest time. Now, the Russian player, Window, he made the most weird comment ever. That's the only way I could describe it, weird. He said that the only person with honor at this stage in the battle were, was um, Venice. He called it England by accident, but he said only Venice is the one with honor. I was I was thinking, how the hell did he come to that conclusion? I'm the only one fighting. So I asked him, what do you mean by that? I'm the one who's attacking here. And he said my cav, or my, my troop movement is sketchy because I'm going through the forest. I mean, duh, what am I supposed to do? Take a helicopter and drop bombs on this uh, Turkish army? I don't think this guy knew what I was doing. I was chasing the Turks through the uh, through the forest here. And if you look on the mini map, you can see my cab is still chasing way up here. See that in the very back? Let's skip up there. It's a long journey. So I was still chasing these the Sapahi unit, but you know I will give up. I thought it was sooner than this. Guess not. I think this unit will drop down to 44 before I, I leave. Because I remember that this is just a waste of my energy chasing. A unit of only 18 men it's not worth it so I will bring him back eventually let's go back to my side and this is what the Turkish player is doing he is running all through the freaking forest look at this he's just running away from me you can see all these troops here spear militia Afghan javelin Armenian cab they're just trying to run away uh, although the uh, Armenian cab is gonna come back Maybe do some kind of delaying action, but I remember I do come to grips with them. Now this battle is quite long. I did record a live commentary version of this, but it was so laggy. Uh, the Russian player, Window, he was lagging the entire time. So that live commentary was about 90 minutes long. So you should thank me now for redoing this video. But I could have just uploaded that one. But I think it's a lot better if it's less laggy. So I'm just going to do the replay commentary. Anyways, I got my archers pouring missiles into this uh, Spear Militia unit right here. He's just gonna keep running away though. Look at that, he's running all through this forest. He wants to get the hell out of here. Here's the majority of his troops just running away from me. And you can see what I did with my my mailed knights over here. See, I brought them back. They, they were chasing this unit over here. Of uh, Sapahis. So I stopped that. Here's the Russian army. Most of it. And there's also, well, here's the Russian army of Window. So he's just sitting here looking at Venice. Venice uh, has this unit down here for some reason. I don't know what the hell he was doing. But the only thing happening right now is me chasing the Turks all over the map here. See how, how far I've come? Oh yeah, so yeah, I did send my cav over here to chase the Armenians. The Armenian cav here. This is the part of the Turkish army. So I was able to, uh, to bog them down in a, in a cav fight. Sorry, I didn't show the first part of it. Basically, it's me just chasing after him. Only intervention by Almighty God or a military genius can bring us victory from this debacle. So he's got his bodyguard unit up here. He's going to retreat his bodyguard. He's going to run for the longest time with his bodyguard unit. I'm going to send, I think, two, three squadrons. I should have sent two squadrons after him. But right now, uh, the biggest fight right now is me taking on the Armenian Cav. Here they are. Because they're getting defeated. But these guys will hold out for a super long time. Yeah, they're pretty decently armored, or yeah, decently uh, armored, equipped. See, it looks like they're wearing uh, the chainmail. A uh, small uh, buckler shield, looks like. Still, my uh, my Western European knights are freaking awesome with that super heavily armored outlook on life. 
And uh, meanwhile, here I am. I'm still I'm pushing my infantry, you know, all my archers and all my dismounted uh, feudal knights through the forest here. Unfortunately, this Turkish army is way out here now. Look at that. It is way out there. He just ran completely away from me. It's like he does not want to fight. And I even asked him, I was like, dude, why aren't you fighting? This is a scored resolution fight. You don't get points for sitting out of the battle. My, I said this was a scored resolution fight three times at the beginning. And that didn't change the way he was playing. It didn't change the way the other guys were playing, too. They were just sitting and looking at each other. See, here's the Venice army, and here's the Russian army. It's still looking at each, other, at each other. It's just me chasing the Turks. But yeah, the, the other guy kept saying, you know, I, would you rather me leave the game or, or have fun? I mean, it's not fun if you're just running away the entire time. I mean, look, this is his idea of fun is run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. I think this, coupled with the fact that it took, um, what, seven minutes to buy his troops, I think that just kind of, uh, you know, ticked me off, I guess. Kind of annoyed me. Anyway, so here I am trying to chase the uh, the Turkish infantry, where I'm, I'm still fighting the, uh, the Cav. Like, I think I was finally victorious over here. With, against the Armenian Cav. Where's the site of that battle? Here it is. I think this is it. This is where all the Armenian Cav got slaughtered. Well, actually, a lot of those are my, my knights, actually. <clears throat> but over here, this is me chasing his bodyguard unit. This bodyguard unit's been running all over the f all over the place. Look at that. I have three squadrons chasing him, and he's just running away with his bodyguard, bodyguard squadron. I think I took him down a little bit, because now they're down to 16. And he's just going to keep running away. So I might as well focus on this, because there's nothing else happening right now. Oh yeah, Russia is moving up, as you can see. So he's gonna launch his uh, Blitz into uh, Venice, right here. And because I was chasing the Turks, that put my army right behind Venice. And you know, I said to myself, hey, this is good resolution. If I keep chasing the army of the Turks, I'm not gonna get any points here. So, I will stop behind the army of Venice and just attack these guys. So I've got most of my infantry here, most of my cab over here, as you can see. And I, I now have some of my cab over on this side. Because I was chasing his the bodyguard unit, that put my cab over here, see that? Here's my bodyguard, and here are two more of my cab units. One is exhausted from chasing. It's a feudal knight and a male knight. So I saw how, how close it was getting to the Russians. I didn't want to draw attention to myself, so I, I stopped chasing that bodyguard unit. I started to chase after the Sapahi unit, but I already knew how stupid that was. Even though they're exhausted, I just didn't want to waste any more time. I bet you my bodyguard could have caught, caught up to it. But right now, what I want to do is uh, join this fight here, get some kills, because I don't want Russia or Venice taking all of the, the points here. And as I said, I am not going to chase this Turkish army all over this freaking map. Do you see how far the Turkish army is? They're way over here. Way over here. Well, over here's the Russian army. The Turks are getting kind of close over there. See that? They ran all the way over here. They're going to kill some peasants, it looks like. But this is not even... This is a sideshow right here. Killing some peasants. Although there's a general's bodyguard coming over here to attack some uh, some Afghan javelin men here. But uh, really, the main show is happening over here between Venice and Russia and myself. Uh, Russia launches really clumsy assault on Venice's... Uh, front here. So I'm coming from behind. Yeah, I really think that Turk player messed up this game. I mean, what was the point of just running and running? It didn't make any sense. So anyhow, um, he launches charge into my uh, dismounted feudal knights. That charge obliterated a lot of my guys. It says they're losing right now. But I got more infantry just crashing into the, his uh, armored sergeants. And he's got that mailed knight just sitting pretty out there. That's King Peter. So I can launch my cav and try to take out Venice's uh, cav over here. Now this unit, I don't know why they broke so so quickly. Look at that. They're down to, what, 49, 45 horses. And I know when there's that many horses in a squadron and they're routing, they will most likely come back from routing. So 
I just wanted to focus on the active units first of Venice, and then worry about his uh, routing unit later on, because I knew for a fact it would come back. Our men have slain the enemy general. So by the catapults of Venice, I was able to slaughter his uh, general. Not sure how he got over there, but he was. I got my archers plucking away at Venice's infantry. And here comes Russia launching some, uh, some more uh, cab charges from the Druzina. So here's the Turks, Turkish Cav. I'm trying to find out where the other battle. There was a battle happening earlier. Here's some Russian peasants. Uh, here's the Afghan javelinmen. Still over here. They still have some uh, sticks to throw. Only half the enemy force remains. But yeah, that that is. A, a sideshow of epic proportions. No, a sideshow of minuscule proportions. This guy launches a cav charge into my peasant archers. Gonna try to go back and uh, draw out his cavs. That's his general's bodyguard, so they are pretty tough. They got some hit points. But I think I can bog them down long enough for my cav to get over there. Here they come my, my feudal knights. Gonna try to tackle this guy's uh, general's unit right here. So here, here comes a charge. Boom! Lance is drawn. That was a, that was a, that was a decent charge. So I'm just slaughtering Venice right now. Here's the Caraccio standard. Here's the overhead of what's going on. Uh, Venice still has some cab out here. And I'm gonna push back my my archers to uh, to to try to target them. And I know this unit's gonna stop routing over here. This one. That's his general's bodyguard. I remember that from the battle. There you go. So I did move up my infantry, my archers, and some uh, some dismounted feudal support. And I'm just gonna start shooting away at these guys over here. But yeah, this uh, the main body of, the, of Venice is slaughtered. I slaughtered the hell out of uh, Venice's troops. There's still a few more troops over there. But for the most part, Venice is uh, finished. He's gonna send his general's bodyguard unit into my archers. Let's see how they do. I'm pretty sure they break before my cab even gets there. Because I was watching this part with my cav. I was like, hmm, should I, should I bring him back? Take him out? Here goes my cav. Bum, bum. Oh, I love this uh, this track here. Here comes the charge over here. This is gonna be a good one. Whack! Charge on some dismounted feudal feudal knights, and they get incinerated. They're down to what one man? Now they're gone. That was a great charge. I love it. So I scare off Venice's uh, active troops. It looks like there might have been another Venetian unit somewhere, but for the most part, Venice is no longer a factor in this fight. So I'm gonna regroup my troops. Most of them are exhausted and winded from chasing uh, the Turks and then fighting against Venice. Now, while all that was going on, you know, you saw Russia launch a... It, it was it was an assault on Venice, but the problem here was... Oh shoot, why is it lagging? The problem here was uh, Russia only sent maybe like, a, like 70 percent of its army and left the rest of its troops back here for some reason. Sorry about that. Enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. Why is it lagging right now? Oh my gosh. Sorry. That's the whole reason why I deleted that file was to get rid of the lag. Or delete my live commentary. So, uh, get a march towards Russia here. That was about seven second gap. Sorry about that. Now the, as I said, the the actual battle was about ninety minutes. That's because, uh, as I said, window was lagging hardcore. So this video should be a lot shorter, probably like an hour, maybe. 
because uh, the troops are moving properly now. I don't know why I was lagging just then. That was really weird. Sorry about that. I hope the commentary is not too off. So yeah, my plan here. You know, I know I know the Turks are still out here, but I figure he's just gonna run away again. So my my strategy was to just go for Russia, and then maybe admit defeat. So I won't have to chase the Turks all over the, the place again. Because all I needed to do was win on points. Dude, 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 dude. So I am regrouping my troops over here. And I, I see the Turks are emerging from their from their troll cave over here. A lot of these Turks are so exhausted, and that's from that's from running the entire time. Makes sense. And again, sorry for the lag. I, I don't. Oh, that's so annoying. I should just uploaded the live commentary because that was pretty laggy. Like a seven second gap. Sorry, guys. That's so annoying. Maybe I'll fast forward this a little bit. Make it shorter. So you can see the Turks are coming out over here. Now, I started lining up my troops to face the Turks, and then he, I saw him uh, running backwards again. So I figure this guy's not going to want to fight if I go after him, so I'm just going to go for Russia. Let me fast forward a little bit. So yeah, Turks, they did not want to fight. That, that, that's a fact. They did not want to fight, at least not when I was... Uh, you know, going after them. They want to take me on as I'm engaged with Russia here. And the Russian player already stated that he wanted to fight me. So here, I'm, I'm going to line up my troops against the Turks again. And look what he does. I'm pretty sure he, he does some retrograde movement here. Let's see. No, not this time. But he sees Russia coming at me. And again, sorry for that lag earlier. I don't know why it was doing that. I had plenty of uh, hard drive space. So here I'm taking on the Boyer Sons. But now I got the, the Turks coming down the other flank. And I got some infantry going right down the middle, trying to go after his uh, spearmen over here. Ooh, getting countercharged by the general's bodyguard. That's going to hurt. Hurt my guys over there. So here I'm swinging my cab around. I want to obliterate the spearmen, but it's a, I use I use my cab over here to go after his uh, dismounted boyer sons. I figure my guys can get a pretty good charge on them, and they are dropping pretty fast. Look Only at that. Intervention by Almighty God, our military genius can bring us victory from this. Debate. So the Turks are skirmishing me on this side and bringing up their jav javelin down the middle here. I should say cab right at them. I bet you they would have all broke immediately, being exhausted. Anyways, I got my peasant archers targeting the uh, Afghan javelin men here. And I got the Russian cav, or Russian forces surrounded. Or, so I, they were surrounded. But <laughs> his guys were stronger so that they broke out of it. And when I lost my general, there's a huge uh, breakdown in my morale here, as you can see. Lord have mercy. We have lost half of our men. Lord have mercy. So now Russia is going to go right down the line here. I'm going to send some dismounted feudal knights to charge these guys. My guys are heavily outnumbered though. What, 35 versus, what, 79, 87? They're heavily outnumbered here. But hey, French knights are brave, so they're going to fight the last... See, now it's not lagging at all. I don't know why it was lagging earlier. Sorry about that, guys. But that's going to screw up the commentary. Make it hard to edit. 
Anyways, my guys are all breaking over here. Look at these, uh, spearmen. All spear militia. At least I broke them. Now, the, the good thing here, you know, I already took down Venice, and I took down some Armenian Cav at the beginning of the Turks. So I, I was pretty sure I had enough points to just, you know, go at the enemy like this. Because right now, all I'm doing is getting more points by killing. And I didn't mind offering up kills to the Turks. Because I know the Turks would not have any points, so I didn't mind losing a lot of troops to these guys. Now, Russia, on the other hand, I know this guy was going to get a few more kills. Oh, a military but genius I was pretty up. certain he didn't have many kills against Venice. Because his uh, first attack got, a, got beat back really hard. So that's pretty much the, most of my troops, if not all of my troops there. So now it's all about the waiting game. Oh, wait, I got one unit right here. And I'm going to send them right in to chase these, uh, spear, these spearmen. But yeah, w once this unit uh, evaporates... That it was all about playing the waiting game and see who has the most points. But that's how score resolution usually goes down. Everyone wants to get to the end so they can see who won. Because it's it's not last man standing. That there's a big difference. So I couldn't I couldn't chase these guys because my guys were already uh, went tired. So I gave up chasing the spearmen. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh yeah, I have another unit right here too. They came back from running as well. So, the Turks are gonna regroup, and same with, uh, well, Russia's already regrouping here. But yeah, these guys did not, uh, want me to live. They probably made an agreement. So that charge flattens my guys. Yeah, uh, the charges in Medieval 2 are ferocious. You can launch frontal charges on infantry and it'll it'll slaughter them unless they're like you know pikemen or something. But like you know against regular swords like like these guys it just incinerates them. Whack. So now we're gonna watch uh, Russia take on the Afghans or sorry the the Turks who have Afghan javelin at their disposal here. But yeah, during the battle, I was I was chasing this Turkish army, and then the Turkish player kept saying, "Like the only reason I'm running now is because I can't believe someone is this intent on fighting me." I'm like, "Dude, you are right next to me. You're my opponent. Of course, I'm going to come after you." But eventually, I gave up on that and just took on the you know Venice, because I was not going to waste time chasing the Turks who didn't want to fight. At least not a fair fight. They're basically just biding their time so they could fight a, an unfair fight. You know, fight where they have an advantage in, or so they think. So now it's just Russia and the Turks going at it, and Russia is going to beat the crap out of the, the Turkish army here. So it was at this point I was wondering, wow, you know what? Russia is getting some pretty sweet kills on the Turks, and they got some sweet kills on me. And they might have got a few kills against Venice at the beginning, so now I was thinking, you know, maybe Russia might win this. So we're gonna watch uh, Russia clean house. The there, Russia just killed the uh, Turkish general. Death will break his men's resolve. And then we have more routine Turkish banners here. Lots of them. Lots of routine green banners. Green banners. Yeah, these guys won't last long. They're already exhausted. I mean, they seem decently armored for, for javelin men. The fact is they're exhausted, so yeah, they they break super duper fast. Now we got some cab coming out of the woodworks here to tackle these Afghan javelin men. Let's see how destructive this charge is. By window 11, and the unit breaks before they even get there. So there's what, one more unit left. Of the Turks. Oh no, there's another one over here. See, I, I was a little annoyed that I, I spent so much time chasing uh, the Turks. So 
we're gonna watch uh, this last hand here of the Afghan Javelin men. They're gonna pull back, it looks like. <clears throat> so it's a good thing Russia still has some cav. I think it's a lot harder for infantry to catch these guys, even though they're exhausted. But they're gonna stop right here. Oh great, now there's another Turkish unit right here. More Afghan Javelin men. So they're gonna run towards the uh, Russians. So it, it was it was strange seeing the Turks actually throwing their troops at Russia, but against me, all he wanted to do was run away, like just run away, run away, run away. So here is the last stand of the Turkish player, hot chicken suit. Maybe drop the hot suit part, and you got his actual name. Our cowardly foe runs. We must push our so. Russia was the last man standing. Let's fast forward to the end because now it's just Russia chasing down these routing units. And then we shall see the results. So it works best if you stop moving the camera. If you stop moving the camera, or if you start moving the camera, then it, it stops the, the fast forward action. They like this. They're not fast forwarding anymore. But once you let go of it, like this, there you go. Back to fast forward. So yeah, I was boasting that I was going to win this because I was the only one actually looking for a fight. But in reality, I thought, I was pretty sure Russia was going to win this because they had they had some sweet kills against me and also the um, Turkish army. And some kills against Venice, but I had sweet kills against Venice, some kills against Russia, and minute kills against the Turks. So I thought it was a toss up between me and this guy. So you will see the results here in about one second. Haha, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, after that, I went back to the lobby and said, Ha, I told you guys so. Should not have been running away. Should not have been wasting time sitting around. But yeah, I actually thought Russia was going to take it. Anyhow, good game to everybody here. Although, I'd, admittedly, I was very annoyed by hot chicken soup of the Turks. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this replay commentary. And I will see you guys later. Hope you liked this Medieval 2 action.